Hi there, Monica Miguel Aketi here. Got a question on the blog about a closing date. A buyer asked, it, how does a closing date, um, who decides on when to close? So the answer to the question is that typically in your offer to purchase, you have a couple of contingencies. One being financing and the other, of course, being home inspection. The closing date is something that the buyer initially will look at when they make the offer and, and take a date that is comfortable for them based on their work schedule, vacation, when they think they can close and when they can move in. Um, a seller has the right to look at that date and say, hey, you know what, that's not a real comfortable date for whatever reason. And until the date is agreed upon and negotiated, um, anything can happen. So you set your closing date up from the get-go and then what happens as the process continues, if for any reason at all, you don't think you can make that date, um, something comes up, you don't get financing, you can always request for an extension in writing from the seller. Understand that at the closing, you give the check, the seller gives the keys and on that date, you will be expected, if possible, to take occupancy. Certainly the seller is expected to be out of the home unless there's some other agreement in place. Typically a buyer has a right to a final walkthrough right before closing to make sure the condition and everything is okay. But at the closing date, whatever date that is that you all agreed upon, is the day that you, the buyer, now own that property, have the keys, move in, and enjoy. Hope that answers the question.